there was millions of people trying to get the same job. And the way I got it was through contacts. The person that hired me was the person that I worked with on a different show, Blind Dates, and she remembered me. My first job was a runner on open auditions. And then late in the afternoon, I was moved to a room with a producer where I was responsible for the music, taking notes, and basically just helping them with anything. Judges auditions. I was based in the gallery with the director, executive producer, series producer, and the line producer. And I was responsible for the biogs, which are the documents um, about each contestant, explaining what they do, what they like, and what songs they're gonna sing. So I was printing them with a production runner. The thing that I enjoyed most uh, whilst working on The X Factor was seeing how it's made behind the scenes because obviously it looks different on TV and then it looks different backstage. It was nice interacting with the judges, being in the stand-in and just sitting behind the judges' desk and seeing how big the stage is and how terrifying it can be. Also interacting with Dermot because he's backstage so you can chat to him in between takes. And then watching the show on TV and thinking, oh my god, I was the part of that show, I helped making that show. The biggest thing I've learned whilst working on The X Factor and being on set was being confident. You have to be confident to work in TV. There's, there's no time to be like timid and scared because the turn run is so fast and there's so much money and so much pressure going on that you have to be on things basically on the time. Solon University is like a great place because we got hands-on experience during lectures and I've done a lot of studio shows in here and they literally the same as they would be in the, in the real TV industry.